So today we're gonna look at connecting to an Ethereum smart contract using Python. Let's start off with a schematic. So if you just refer to this drawing here, the Ethereum network is essentially comprised of a whole bunch of nodes. So these are all just computers that are running the Ethereum software. All right, so if you look into a node, a node is essentially comprised of the database with the entire history of the blockchain. So all previous transactions. Then we've got the EVM, which is the Ethereum virtual machine that is essentially responsible for processing all new transactions and distributing them to the rest of the network. And then we've got the JSON RPC API. This is a connection point um, by which external applications can connect to this specific node. You don't want to run your own Ethereum nodes. So you don't want to download the software and become a node. You can essentially just transact with the Ethereum network by connecting to another node via this connection point. All right, in our project, we're gonna have this JSON RPC um, URL link, we connects to the node. We'll be getting that from Infura. And then we've got the Web3 interface. So this is essentially just a web3.py file for Python that gives us the functions and classes needed to interact with the Ethereum network. And then we'll have obviously Python, which will be the programming language that we'll be doing this in. All right, let's get going on the project. So let's create a new file called, oh, let's change directory first. Directory to desktop. All right. Let's call our file eth connection. All right. Then we're going to go into that file. All right, cool. So we've created a new project folder. The next thing we need to do is create a virtual environment. When you want to download applications such as web3.py, you can either download it globally, so onto your entire PC, or specific to that project in which it'll live in a virtual environment within the project folder. So to create one, we simply write Python 3-m virtual environment, so VNV, and then whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna call it my environment. All right, awesome. So this is busy creating now the virtual environment. The next step is to download whatever dependencies we need into this virtual environment. Uh, so like I mentioned, we're gonna need the Web3 interface. So we're just going to write, um, per, oh, actually one thing I need to do first is activate the virtual environment. My. All right, you'll know that your virtual environment is activated when at the start there's this open bracket, my NV. All right, cool. So let us install our first dependency, which is Web3. Okay, while that goes on, let us go ahead and open our project in VS Code. Uh, so if you don't know, VS Code is just a code editing software and okay file all right so you can open your folder we have it under desktop we called it eth connection down here and then it's currently only got the virtual environment in it so we can open the entire folder all right awesome let's go ahead and create a new file so we're going to call this or not in the nv we're going to call this uh, connection.py so ending in py so it knows that it's a python script Okay, cool. So now the way the project is gonna work is we essentially need to first decide which smart contract we're gonna connect to. So we're gonna do the Bored Apes NFTs. We're gonna go connect to one and retrieve the owner of a specific NFT. So we'll go on to OpenSea and see who owns it and then we'll compare our result with that. And then we need an Infura link to actually connect to the node. So let's go first onto the internet and type Infura. Oh, not logo. Infura. All right, login. So if you don't have a profile, just create one. It is free. They give you an API key. Uh, the process is ch pretty chilled. Um, I'm going to leave a, a link to another video that I made that kind of goes into detail on how to do this. But yeah, essentially, you'll just create an account, request an account for the Ethereum mainnet, and then they will give you an active endpoint, so a connection point. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to our Python script. So we're gonna call this infura underscore URL is equal to 
this. All right, perfect. Um, also, what we need to do is just import the web3.py file that we had previously downloaded, and we need to import it into this project. So we're just going to write from web3 import web3. All right, perfect. Cool. Okay, so we've got the Infura URL, which connects us to a node, and then we've got the web3 interface. Next, what we need to do is actually check our connection to the node. So we're going to write web3 is equal to web3 web http provider, and then we need to put the URL in. So infura underscore URL. All right, awesome. So let's check if that is connected. So we can just say print web3 dot is connected here. Okay, awesome. Um, let's save that and run the script. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's run the script. So we're just going to say python3 connection.py. If it returns true, then we are successfully connected to the node. Okay, perfect. So we are successfully connected to the Ethereum node. Now we can go ahead and actually interact with the Ethereum smart contract. So let's start off by finding the smart contract. So we can go to Etherscan and then let's go to NFTs, the top NFTs. So remember, Board Apes is a NFT. All right, here we are, Board Ape Yacht Club. Cool. Then let's go to the actual token address. All right, so in order for us to interact with the smart contract, we firstly need to get the ABI of the smart contract. So that is the code of the smart contract. Um, the reason for this is to interact with the Ethereum network and specifically a smart contract, you need to encrypt the request that you send and you encrypt it with the actual contract ABI. So we need that when we send a request. All right, so let's go to contracts then contract ABI and we can copy this. All right, so let's go. So the ABI is equal to that. All right, then the next thing we need oh, is the address. So address is equal to, so this is specifically the smart contract address, which is up here. All right. Cool. Okay, the next step is to create an instance of the smart contract. So essentially we're gonna use the address and the ABI and then we're gonna create sort of like a copy of the smart contract that we can use to interact with. So we're gonna say contract is equal to web3 dot, sorry, dot eth dot contract and then the address is equal to the address that we just listed and then the ABI is equal to the ABI. All right, awesome. So we've done that. Now what we can do is actually interact with the smart contract and find out who the owner of a specific NFT is. So what we write is owner, gosh, owner is equal to the contract instance that we just created dot functions dot owner of. So this is uh, the owner of function is a function that all NF, um, all ERC 721 NFTs or um, tokens need to have. So it's a function that is called owner of. All right, then we need the number of the NFT that we want to check the owner of. We'll grab that in a second and then dot core. Okay, so let's go to here again and let's write um, board apes open C so open C is a marketplace for NFTs where you can list your NFT and sell it okay let's go ahead and pick the most expensive or well, actually one that looks cool okay so price from high to low let's see who looks dope um, 
Okay, let's go with this guy. All right, so he's worth 133 ETH. So let's go into him. Okay, so he is number 5895, right? So that's the number we need in our contract. All right, so the owner of this. And then if we go back, let's see who the owner is. So scroll down. The last transfer was from this to this account here. So if we click on it, this address should be here. So this is it, the OX2A E5. All right, cool. So let's go back to our smart contract and actually just print the owner. Owner, awesome, okay. Let's run that and see if it worked. So Python 3 connection.py. Okay, so OX2AE, and our one is OX2AE. All right, perfect. So we have successfully connected to a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, and we interacted with it. Um, if you got any value from this video, please give it a like and a share. Awesome. Thanks, guys.